This is the carpet mill you saw the blonde lab running on. I took the pulley out so I can show you the frame. It's made out of two by fours. Pretty simple. The only thing right here that you want to keep in mind is the size of your dog. You want to make sure that it's long enough for him to run on without running out the front or the back. The uh, top up here is made out of thin plywood. You don't need anything real heavy, just that thin plywood is all you need. The axle is a four inch PVC pipe. I've got a piece of landscaping timber inside. You can see it doesn't fit exactly in here. It would just spin by itself if you didn't take a couple of screws and put them on the side and just don't tighten it down too tight or else it'll wind up being out of round and doesn't have to be real tight just enough to keep it from spinning freely this is your bearing all it is is a piece of uh, copper tubing I uh, found the diameter of the copper tubing and I uh, just tapped it in with a hammer that way that just slides in and spins freely take your pilot hole that you made just run it in there and that way you can find the center easily and hammer it in the only thing with this that you got to keep in mind you want to you see where I experimented with the height of it you want to have this top leading edge of your pulley above the edge of this running board or else you'll wind up catching it and it'll slow your dog down and uh, create friction you want it to be able to come over and miss this. Uh, the carpet, just measure out, a, just find your old piece of carpet, measure out the width and the length. And what it, the way I did it, which this is what took the longest on the whole thing. So I got 50 pound test on the fishing line and uh, threaded it all the way through, all the way down to the bottom. Um, the uh, the needle I used, I didn't have anything, so I, I just found a, an old spoke off of a bicycle wheel and bent it in a little semi-circular hook-like hook needle and just used it and just worked it all the way down. And it hasn't come apart and I don't think you'll have any problems with it as long as your carpet isn't rotten. It'll hold together real good. This frame right here is what holds your leash to your harness dog. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. All it is is 45 degree uh, a uh, frame with the uh, pipe coming through the top, and I just use some I'm using nails just to keep it from sliding out. You can, if you want to, drill a hole here, put your little um, eye hook. That way you can quick release your your uh, leash to your your dog. The uh, legs, I use cinder blocks, uh, but you, you can just as easily make some legs for them, just like this, but just have them down here. You want to uh, have the front elevated just a little bit, depending on how hard you want your dog to work is to how high you elevate it. Uh, if you have any questions on anything else? Let me know. I'll uh, try to explain it the best I can.